Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel X Gene and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about structure of the protein. So here I will talk basically the primary structure, secondary, tertiary, and the quaternary structure of the protein. So let's begin. First, we need to know that what is amino acid. So amino acid is basically the structural unit of the protein. So protein is composed of by the amino acid. So this is the structure of the amino acid. And here is the carboxyl group and one amino group. So, and there is the R that is the side chain. So, this kind of amino acid that linked with the another amino acid to form the peptide. And by the linkage of the hydrogen bond that is the pop peptide bond. So, now I'm going to talk about the primary structure of the protein. So primary structure, this is the simple structure of the protein. There is no branching. This is the only the linear structure of the protein by formation of the peptide bond. So here is the amino acid 1. Just uh, for example, this is the amino acid 1. And here is the amino acid 2, the second amino acid. So when it form the bond in between amino group and the carboxyl group, then the one molecule of the water it, re it reduced and then it formed the peptide bond in between so here it make one small protein so one amino acid and another amino acid when it joined by a hydrogen bond or peptide bond that makes a protein that is a small protein so here if the another amino acid comes together and join together with that amino acid then it forms so this kind of protein structure by making the another peptide bond so these peptide bonds are also known as the hydrogen bond and here is the if this is the protein forms by three amino acids then this is the N terminal and this is the C terminal because of the carboxyl group, this is the C terminal and for the amino group, this is the N terminal. And these bonds are known as the peptide bond. Alright, so this is the basic, the very simple structure of the, prime, of the protein, that is the primary structure of the protein. And next is the secondary structure of the protein. So basically the secondary structure of the protein, this is the, it collapse structure inside a polypeptide that is because of the development of the hydrogen bond between amide hydrogen and the carboxyl oxygen group. So it contains the alpha helix and the beta pleated seed. So here is the alpha helix. This is a spiral kind of structure because of the twisting the hydrogen bond. So because of this twisting of the hydrogen bond, it makes the helical structure or the spiral kind of sp structure that is the alpha helix and the beta seed that is the that is the another kind of secondary structure that is the, the polypeptide chain are stacked or lined up next to each other and their outer hydrogen molecule form intramolecular bond to give a seat like structure so this is a seat like structure this is the beta seat and each plane contain this kind of uh, structure so when the different kind of the amino acid or it bind together by the by the hydrogen bond then it forms the seat like structure so this is the beta seat so next is the and these are the hydrogen bond so next is the tertiary structure. The overall three dimensional structure of a polypeptide is called tertiary structure. So tertiary structure is, pri is primarily due to the, the interaction between the R group that I showed before, the side chain, that R groups of the amino acid that make up the protein. So the tertiary structure content also uh, there are different kind of the hydrogen bond and also the disulfide linkage that is a disulfide bond also and this this bond 
this disulfide bond this is basically it's very strong and this is the stronger than hydrogen bond and it forms in between 16 and 16 of that uh, amino acid so this is the tertiary structure when when the this is the three dimensional structure of the protein all right and next is the most complex kind of structure that is the quaternary structure so basically many proteins are made up of single polypeptide chain and have only tertiary structure however some proteins are made up multiple polypeptide chain also known as the subunit like alpha subunit and also the beta subunit and when this kind of subunit it comes together then it forms quaternary structure all right so here is the example of the quaternary structure of the protein that is a hemoglobin so hemoglobin here there are four different kind of a structure and uh, like alpha alpha chain and the beta chain so when it this alpha chain and beta chain it comes together and join together it forms the quaternary structure all right so here is the basically uh, what i talked here that is the the first is the primary structure that is basically the, the very simple uh, structure of the protein uh, that is the linear structure and next is the secondary structure so secondary structure contain the alpha helix as well as the beta seeds and the next is the tertiary structure the tertiary structure contain the all of the secondary structure and the primary structure of the protein so primary structure is the linear structure but the tertiary structure contain the all of the secondary structure like alpha helix and the beta seeds also and it forms three dimensional structure by the hydrogen bond and the the disulfide linkage and next is the quaternary structure that is a very complex form of the protein and uh, it forms by uh, by closing together of the different subunits when it comes together to form the quaternary structure and you may have seen this kind of structure and uh, it contain you see uh, you can recognize that this is the alpha seed and uh, alpha helix and the beta seed it forms together to the tertiary structure all right so this is all about the protein structure i hope this video is very simple to understand that what is protein structure of the four different kind of structure of the protein so if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please and please subscribe my channel and if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section thanks for watching